All right, moving on to question number three for the quadratics in context. Again, a picture might be helpful for us, but let's see what we've got. The height of a triangle is four centimeters longer than the base. Okay. So if we draw a triangle, maybe we'll try and draw it sort of so it makes sense. The height is four centimeters longer than the base. So if that's the base, I know the height is four centimeters longer than that, so how could I express that in terms of numbers and symbols there? So if the base is b and the height is 4 more than the base, the height would be base plus 4. So here we've got the base is equal to b and the height is equal to b plus 4. The area is equal to 30 centimeters. Okay, so we know the area is equal to 30 centimeters squared. So let's think about what the area of a triangle is. Again, like I've said, you might have to call on previous knowledge to solve these problems. So the area of a triangle, you should hopefully remember, is one half times base times height of a triangle. Sometimes it's written like this or like this. But either way, that's going to be our area formula. So I know that my area is equal to 30 centimeters. So let's plug in what we've got. I know that um, if I write it like this, the base times the height so the height again here is 4 more than the base. And then all over 2, or times by 1 half, either way you do that. But we know this is equal to 30 centimeters squared. So again, to solve these things, we need to get them set equal to 0 first, and then factor it. And I notice again, it's not equal to 0 here, so I need to rearrange. A couple of things that I notice in this problem as well is that I have a either a 1 half in front, or in this case, as I've written it, divided by 2. And that's kind of a pain. So what's the opposite of dividing by 2? Times in by 2. So if I times this side of the equation, the top and bottom there will cancel. And the back of the equation becomes 60. And I'm leaving out that invisible time sign now because I should be able to say that b bracket b plus 4 is the same as b times bracket b plus 4 there. The invisible times in the middle. Okay, so it's still not equal to 0. I'm going to expand this out. I get b squared plus 4b is equal to 60. Subtract 60 from both sides so that I can get it equal to 0. b squared plus 4b minus 60 is equal to 0. And now I can factor. So let's think about it. What's going to times to negative 60 and add to positive 4? So if you're not sure, just start thinking about factors of 60. 1 and 60, 2 and 30, um, 4 and 15, 6 and 10, and I think this should cover us because if you notice, I'm just looking for any combination that has a difference between them of 4, because that's the middle term. So the difference between a 4, I've got 59, 20, 28, um, 11, and then here I've got a difference of 4. So B, I'm going to have a 6, and B, and a 10, and I know I need to be really careful with my signs because I know at least one of them needs to be negative to get a negative when you times. But I notice that the middle term is positive, so that means my bigger number needs to be positive, so it's going to be minus 6 plus 10. And to double check that, if you go 10 minus 6, you'll get positive 4 from the middle. So again, to solve, we'll set both of these things equal to 0. That means b is equal to 6 or negative 10. And here, because we're dealing with a real life situation, we would say, well, real life is in like an object. Um, base of triangle cannot be negative. So we would say base is equal to 6 centimeters because that's what we solved there, knowing that it has to be the positive answer, not the negative, because it wouldn't make sense to have a base of negative 10 centimeters. And then our height, again, coming back up to answer the original question, find the height and base. Height, well, we knew that that was the base plus 4, that it was 4 centimeters longer than the base, so my height is equal to 10 centimeters. And that's your final answer there. So again, be careful to clarify that you know it cannot be the negative answer in this case because it wouldn't make any sense to have a triangle with negative width or base. 
And just be careful when you're plugging in that you're recalling all the previous knowledge and information that you've got for an area of a triangle as well.